Hello guys, welcome back to our channel here. At Claude and Jessica live in the Philippines. We're currently in Texas, but most of you know that. I have our son, Elijah James, right there. Pretty soon we'll have uh, Arabella. Still looking for the middle name. But we just want to talk about building permits and building in the Philippines and our experience. And um, I know that if you're applying for a building permit, it's like 30 bucks American money or 60 for a commercial from what I was just reading. And um, when we built, I remember asking, do we need a building permit? Because here in the United States, you need to have them before you do anything. And they got to check your property. You could have a big, big property and want to build a small shack or something on it. And they'll tell you no because of some stupid zoning law or something like that. But in the Philippines, um, you know, you have to have uh, a building permit. I mean, you say you built your house first, which you can do depending on who owns it, I guess. And then find out your property is 10 foot too close. You got, it's got to be 10 foot away from the street or 15 foot away from the corner from what I've been reading. And um, like, for instance, our house is built on property um, that was given to my wife from her dad. Um, we have a friend there whose house is too close to the street and he needs to take care of that. But, um, you know, anyways, uh, we paid for, after we found out we were in the Philippines at the time, and they give you time to take care of it, right? Yeah, they're not really putting you, like, right away. You're yeah, it's not like the next day they'll come and tear your house down. So in the middle of building our house, they're asking for a building permit, which is, I don't really know about that one, and my parents doesn't know, really doesn't know about the building plan. Because when my mama and papa building their house long time ago, they don't really pay the building for me. That's what yeah, I know. So he doesn't yeah. know. When we built in our house, in the middle of building our house, one of the engineers came there and he said, where's the building for me? And we are all shocked, oh, we don't really have a building for me. So measure the house and give us the price, how much it costs yeah. to pay the building permit. So we pay like thirty-seven thousand. Is that half or the whole amount? <laughs> that, that's the whole amount. Oh, so thirty-seven thousand pesos. So yeah, and we paid half while we were there, and we just recently paid the rest. Correct? Yeah, we just paid the rest, and we're waiting for the. We call it the blueprint, Mama says. Yeah, the blueprint, the engineers are going to come out and uh, measure the property and things like that. And then put it on the blueprint. We've already seen the blueprint of that corner there. <coughs> so, you know, and then it'll be sectioned off or whatever. It's my wife's property, so. And, you know, for you Americans, you can't build a, a property there. You can lease property, you know. But, um... And people who don't pay that off, they can come move your house back or take tear down part of it or something. Right? I'm not sure. I think like they give you a time to pay for that building permit, but you have to pay a penalty because like there's like a day that you have to pay for that one. If if you can't pay, it doesn't mean that they have to tear down the house, but like every year or. I don't know what's the policy, but you have to pay the penalty. That's what you told me. Oh, there's going to be a penalty, Penalty, too. yeah. You can, your house is still there, but you have to pay penalty by the year yeah. comes and comes. So you have to pay the penalty, and it's getting bigger and bigger. So they give you time to take they care of it. They give you time, problem. yeah, to take good care. But if you totally ignore it, the government will come in and you know, widen the street or something like that if they need to do that, right? Yeah. But that's different. With a oh. building for me. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's different. But if you're doing that, make sure you get all your P's and Q's and dot your I's and cross your T's or whatever that's saying. It's not really is. easy to, to uh, build a house because, you know, you have to pay the building for me to put the house. It's like people in the Philippines working is overseas and it takes time to build the house. Yeah pay the building permit because you know we overseas worker before I was working as overseas like 
we get paid like once a month so we have to save money to build the house buy a property and that stuff yeah yeah and that could take time that could take it years the pans go some other so like they don't even finish their house as long as like it's built and boom that's it yeah yeah a house is really important in the philippines that's why mostly over mostly filipinos going to abroad just to build the house yeah and you know, as for your expats who are going to build a house, you and your fiance or your wife or your future wife, make sure you check into everything because you don't want any surprises. You want to make sure the land is actually belongs to your wife or fiance or someone in the family who has actually given it to you and not doesn't belong to somebody you don't know about because then you're in for a whole nother surprise and you could just lose your money. The, but, the house that we have right now is my papa's property. Yeah. But we have another payment again once uh, they want to get the, the title to put in my papa's name. So we have yeah. to pay for that one again for another Yeah, for the title. title. Engineers are going to come out and measure and yeah. stuff like that. And they will, um, for now, we don't really know how much it costs for that and, uh, property. Oh, there is a property tax too, right? We paid that. Yeah, the, yeah we pay the tax. Like, we divide each family. How what, much? what was it, like 600 pesos or something? Um, yeah, we ask for six. Uh, we pay 600. But That'll we'll be every year. I'm not sure. Yeah. I think so. I think it's yeah. only 600 pesos for for now we divide it to pay the tax because the property yeah, the, or the oh. title it's it's on my grandma's name right but once right. that one but everybody thing. chips in the pages yeah it's like a little community there you know all relatives yeah because my grandma ha have a huge property in our yeah. barangay so um, grandma give us a property to all of her, her children her children yeah, yeah. So now grandma's getting old, so brothers and sisters trying to um, broke that property and put uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. name. So that's one step better what we did. We took care of that building permit. Yeah. And, and then there'll be something, uh, title thing, we have to, you know, it's not going to be much. Yeah, but we, we're still in, in, still in processing what we're going to do. But now at least we already, um, we already paid the... Uh, yeah. But like I said, she didn't know, and I didn't know, and our house was already built when we found out. In the United States, they don't even let you buy the lumber until you get everything signed. It's totally different, but, you know, just make sure you check and yeah. everything. Much better you know. to check, because ours, we don't, we don't really, okay, let's, when we say, like, let's build out, let, let, let's build, let's the, build house. the house. Then we built the house, <laughs> and then we are all shocked that there was a building permit because we didn't really know. Yeah. When I built my really tiny house, they don't really ask for a building permit because it's just really a it's tiny small. house. Yeah, it yeah. could be I have to pay something for a building permit, but that's really small though. But yeah. I did not pay for a building permit. But that house it did not built for a long time ago. It's just like. When I was working in uh, Hong Kong. Yeah, Hong Kong, yeah. But, um, you know. It's tiny, but there's electricity, there's oh, yeah. water. It's a place to live. Yeah. Just for a single person. You know, and they built our house around that house and then tore it down. Yeah. <laughs> Part of the hollow blocks are in our house. But I've mentioned some of these things before. <clears throat> but because we just, you know, finished paying off that, um, the 37,000 pesos. We want to do a vlog about this and, you know, make sure you check into it, you know, before or after. But you, you want to make sure who the property belongs to before you do that. You could check with Tom on Ruth's channel. Tom speaks about this stuff, these topics. Yeah. And, uh, you know, there's other channels out there, too, because you don't want to lose, spend money or some of your saved retirement savings. And then you just have nothing because you didn't check into it and you're just trusting somebody you're about to marry or or that you haven't known for a long time. That's why I say, you know, make sure you know your future wife and you make sure you, you ladies know your future husbands because everybody ain't wrapped too tight here in the U.S. either. <laughs> but, uh, and shout out to us. We'll be going on five years. Five years this coming July 15th. 15th, yeah, we'll be married five years. So we've known each other like 10 years, going 10 years now. Well, i known you that long. <laughs> time goes Yes, because now we have little baby Arabella coming. 
and uh, we're excited for maybe six more weeks and little girl will be here in the vlogs with us you guys don't forget to like and subscribe our channel hit the bell for notifications if you're new here really appreciate it and thank you channels for um recommending and pushing out our content and uh shout out to all you vloggers keep pushing on you us small youtubers and you know um it's been over four going on four years i got over 1500 videos you know and i started doing this when they saw will dosovich and casey neistat and different vloggers i'm like oh this is something to do but um you know, we're actually doing better here on the channel since we moved to Texas. We're in the Philippines. Well, in the Philippines, you don't get a lot of views. In Massachusetts, it doesn't too, but once we've been here in Texas, Texas yeah. we'll get more views. Yeah, there's a there's a big population of Filipino Americans here. And, um, you know, we'll keep you updated. Of course, we're going to do a vlog. We're going out to dinner on our anniversary. Yes. And, um... You know, we'll do something on the 15th. And I'm happy and more blessed to have married my wife. It's the best thing I've ever done. You know, and I always wanted to be married and have a good relationship. I've been married twice before, but I still didn't know what that was like. That only lasted a couple of years. But this has been a good experience in knowing how blessed you are. And uh, my wife's an amazing woman. And she doesn't want to have any more kids, though, that's for sure. <laughs> It's not, a, it's not easy, right? Always I mean. having a hard time. <laughs> yeah, this baby girl dances around. I, even, I feel like almost like a year I did not get enough sleep or rest. Yeah. It's tough. You know, it's really having a hard time. But on the, same, on the topic, make sure you Google this information. Have your fiancé or your wife uh, check with the barangay, the municipality, and the city that they live in. To make sure you get it right so you don't have any issues after you build the house the next thing no you know yeah you have to move it back 10 feet or something like that but you don't want to have to go through that and um, it's a good thing you know people ask well you have a house there what good is it well that's our house and we have kids um, someday we'll be living there full time in the future but who knows we'll be visiting there and that'll be our, our vacation homes or our our aluminum homes, which I believe they're still building. Yeah. I don't ever regret building a house. No, I don't regret it at all. I mean, um, sometimes I get upset or, you know, because of the bills here, car insurance, things like that I talked about before. But there's ways around. It depends on which state you live in. And find yourself, um, you know, a place you can afford on your budget and your Social Security, pension, whatever it is. And, um, and, you're, and guys like us are fortunate to have a wife who is going to work or whatever. I mean, chances and, you know, things are better here for your, your wife. Um, my wife will have a good future, a good career. And, our, and babies will, you know, be raised here. They're trying to secure their future. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? And, uh, but anyways, guys, thank you so much. We appreciate you so much. And, uh, don't forget to, uh, to look all this information up when you go to build a house there. Thank you so much. I'm Ping. Bye. Bye-bye.